Hi guys, Shane from the Little Suburban Homestead here. I'm just going to give you a little rundown on how easy it is to uh, plant in the aquaponics system. First up I'm going to be doing um, some little pots. These are just going to go in the deep water culture bed. They consist of, they're called net pots or net cups. They're just a normal sized pot with heaps of drainage in them. And all you do is you get your little seedling. If you can get it out. And what we need to do, is we need to get all this dirt out of the root. So I've just got a bucket here with some water and a little bit of sea salt. Until you're left with that. And then, it's just a matter of putting it in in your pot and filling it up with your media. So just put all your clay all around the roots. Try and get your plant central in the pot if you can. You don't want the roots exposed to light. So get the media all around the roots. And that's it. Now the next method I'm gonna show you is uh, in a bed. And here we are in a bed. Just kidding. All right, and here we've got a almost empty media bed. We've got our little washed lettuce seedlings. It's just a matter of pushing the media away. And that's it. One of the most easiest things to dig in that I've ever encountered. Just make sure you get your roots down far enough. And that is how easy it is. Doesn't get much easier than that. And here I've got my little net cup seedlings with all the lettuce in. And this is how I plant them straight into the raft bed. It's literally that simple. Now we can go for this week's walk around update video. So we've got the, the globe artichoke, fair bit of growth in the past, lots well, of been a week and a half. The mint coming along nicely. I've already had to give that a chop back. I've got all these runners starting to come up everywhere. I um, used a bunch of it in a salad the other night. Our stevia, I'm not sure, I've never grown stevia before, so um, I don't know how it's meant to look, but um, yeah, it's, it's not not one of my best looking plants, I would, I would say. And then obviously the little lettuce seedlings we just planted, those are a, uh, a baby butterhead lettuce. And then we've got our peas, they're all doing really well. Fair bit of growth, I'd say that they've doubled in growth in the past week and a half. And then we've also got a, uh, a tomato that I planted the other day that is a backyard Italian. Meant to be really good. And then down here we've got a bit of an experiment that I've been doing. This is a uh, an aeroponics cloner. So what it is, is these are all cuttings. These, these have been hidden here for uh, about 10 days now. They're just cuttings and then I've drilled holes in the lid. Uh, little foam things that just squish in there and hold, hold the cuttings in place. And if I don't get wet, inside there's a water pump. Just constantly squirting water. If I can get in close enough, can you see the roots? already growing on some of them and there's just just plain water in there nothing else so um, as far as an experiment goes I think that's doing pretty well a uh, couple more seedlings yet to go out I've got uh, oh, what do we got some zucchini and uh, one one more tomato just got to choose where that's gonna go 
onto our chop and flip. Still doing really well. I um, added a good handful of crushed limestone the other day just to help sort out the pH. Couple of little plants in there, a little orchid. The uh, silver perch are very shy. They're still they're still all huddling around the water pump. Every time I come out here, you see them skidosh. Skidosh, skidosh, skidosh to hide behind the water pump. Well, that's all right. A couple of little, little orchids. Then the other system. Still going well. They're, um, I treated for a deficiency the other day. As, I don't know if you can see that. I'll pick that up on camera, but there seems to be a bit of chlorosis happening. So um, I'm pretty sure that was a phosphorus deficiency. So I just added a bit more sea salt that was high in phosphorus to, to help that come up. And then I've had to put a tarp over the beds that still don't have any um, hydrogen in them just because the uh, algae was getting a bit out of control. I'll bring you down to this bed, you can see what I mean. Lots of algae, yuck. Well that's all right, we're keeping it under control. And then the growth on these guys. So we've got the uh, the silver beet. I've been harvesting every uh, couple of nights, just a few leaves here and there off each one for salad and, and whatnot. So they're doing pretty good. And the mizuna and mustard. This longleaf one tastes amazing. That one's pretty good. This one is disgusting. I don't know what that is, but yep, don't like that. Cos lettuce, getting bigger but not very speedy. New tomato seedlings we just put in. They are first prize. Butterhead lettuce seedlings. The celery is still, uh, there's this one and the back one that are doing reasonably well. The rest are still a bit slow. I think that might be due, due to the uh, deficiency that I, I treated the other day so we'll see if they pick up in the next few days or so. Coriander, been harvesting that a fair bit. We got got plenty to go around. The the pak choy, yep that's doing good. I've, you can see I've harvested a few leaves here and there. Starting to get really big. You can see compared to my hand they're doing really well. The chilies, they're um, they haven't picked up from when I uh, picked them up out of the garden and put them in here, so we'll see when the weather starts warming up how they how they do. Strawberries, Ooh, a little flower hiding there. More flowers, flowers. I uh, I counted all the flowers on this the other day. Just on this one plant alone, there's uh, 15 flowers coming up so far. And then that one's still going. A couple of little fruits there, trying to poke their heads out. Can't wait for them to ripen. And then put shade cloth all around here. Just to hide the hide the sump from the sun a bit. And it's still down there. Oh, we're gonna get the brightness. There we go. Yeah, that's still doing good. The, um, the algae has gone in there uh, just from putting this shade cloth up, so that's, that's an improvement. Filtration. The mineralization tank is still bubbling away, doing its thing. Every couple of days I come out and grab this pipe, just give it a good swirl around down the bottom just to loosen up any sediment down the bottom, any poop that's accumulated down there, just to help that break down a fair bit. Filtration, you can see the algae that's started to grow in there, but that's still doing its thing. Fish tank. Ugh. See if the fish are going to come up and say hello. There they are. They're still kicking along. Oh, there's a the big girl. Could watch them all day. And that's it for this week. 
all up to date. Um, yeah, pretty happy. The uh, warm weather has been pretty good the last few days. We've um, actually gets quite hot in here. I'm going to have to work out some ventilation once it starts really warming up. So that'll be a later thing. If you like what you've seen, please like it and show your support. Let us know what else you'd like me to talk about. I try to do a uh, video every week, just an update on and a few different things if I can. So if you want to see something, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys.